Hi everyone, so today we are playing Nova at the Blackheart's Bay, right? So let's see what our teams consist of. We have Gaslord, Stroller, Artanis, Esmodan and Nova on our team and we are fighting against Rainer, Zagara, Artanis, Nova and Kazlo on the enemy team. Pretty a lot of mere heroes. And this is not Blackheart's Bay at all, this is Cursed Hollow, I don't know what I'm talking about. And let's go straight into the game. By the way, subscribe if you want uh, some more of this high quality content and yeah. Would love, would love you to. Okay, so the build we'll be going today is uh, the usual build. You have your snipes, your everything. Ah, no, she escaped. Sadly, she escaped. Stroll, you're too deep. You are too deep, my friend. Strictly business. Let's see if we can do something to Rainer. I don't know how much health he has. Oh, not much. Well, we got his passive down, so that's cool. Executing. I can stay here, maybe he walks out and I could snipe him. He probably won't, at least I wouldn't recommend that. So let's go uh, let's go bottom and see what we can do to our friend Gaslow. Oh my god, and we missed the snipe. So that was pretty bad. Yeah, so my recommendation for Nova on how to play Nova would be to... Uh, first of all, turn on smart ca casting and stuff. Because it helps with snipes a lot. And that was just, uh, I don't know, weird. <laughs> I don't know what was that. But yeah, uh, smart casting when uh, the key is down helps a lot with landing those snipes. Also, let's talk about her skills. Q is snipe, does a lot of damage. Uh, it's a skill shot and uh, it has a little bit of activation type, time, so it's kind of hard to land, but not really. Uh, her W is spinning shot, it slows them down and does a bit of damage. Uh, e is your clone, you can target it and it puts down a clone. And that's not enough to kill him, he heals through that. Let's see what's happening bottom. Maybe their Gazlo is somewhere. We'll just soak experience for the time until Gazlo comes here. And now we need to head uh, to the tribute. So let's do that. So her ultimates are triple tap. It fires three shots into one target, which can block by its structures or other heroes or clones. Like I can put a clone to block triple tap and precision strike, which does a lot of damage after like one and five seconds. In a pretty big area, Pretty, pretty a lot of damage, good skill, really nice. Also worth mentioning that, oh my god, how did I miss that? Worth mentioning that uh, triple tap locks you into, wow, locks you into one spot so you can't really move or anything, so it's kind of bad. And I missed the Z snipe and that was horrible for us. Yeah. Yeah, so triple tap not really a good uh, ultimate because it forces you to stay in one place and you can be focused down or interrupted by other heroes and easily killed. So more often than not you kill yourself with triple taps than anybody else. Uh, also I'm always tor torn at level 13 and 16 which stands for her to pick up because there are some... There are two builds which, which uh, you can use and both of them are pretty good. Executing. Oh my god. I screwed up my auto attacks there. I couldn't uh, time it correctly and it resulted us in not getting the kill. Which is not what you want, right? Let's make sure Esmodan is relatively safe down bottom here. 
Uh, seems like everything is okay for now, so let's go back to the middle. Okay, tribute spawns there. Good to know. We are in a relatively good position to grab it. So I will be scouting just a bit. Well, we killed one person. Let's see if we can kill anybody else. Oh my god. <laughs> Zagara blocked our snipe with Banelings. I didn't expect her to cast Banelings there. And it resulted in me dying. So you should be careful with your snipes. Because they can be easily blocked by Zagara or by Asmodan. Asmodan is really good at blocking snipes from Nova. All you have to do is just press your W in the relative direction Nova is standing and she will probably miss her snipe. Yeah, like or should I say she will land her snipe but it would land into a minion rather than yourself and that's pretty huge. So we'll be picking a precision strike because I think it's better because it doesn't result you in being vulnerable. You just cast it and forget. Also we should stop dying because we have our gathering power and it will help you a lot. Yes, she is. Shall we see who gathers this week? Yeah, by the way, Nova is free this weekend, uh, this week. So there's that. Executing. Precision strike. All of the good stuff. Let's see what we can do to our train Rainer here. Like, if we can do some damage to him. Yeah, now he can't really do anything, engage anywhere. Uh, always look uh, look around the map when you have precision strike, strike, because you can help your teammates quite a bit. Is that a lot of like that's 700 damage? That's almost half of my health pool. And with gathering power stacked up, it could probably do even more damage than that. And there we go, got our kill. Also, you can use precision strike to zone people. Like, you just put it in front of them and they are forced uh, to not go that way. Or... It's definitely better to use it as a damage source, but uh, that's just another use for it. Oh my god, I didn't expect her to be there. Out of all places, that's not where I expected her. I don't know what Thrall decided to do there, but there you go. I thought she would flank me from here. So I was always watching this place for Nova, but uh, she went this way. So she kind of outplayed me. It was totally my fault, I died three times this game. That's a lot of deaths, especially for Nova. You shouldn't be dying that much. But uh, in my defense, I would say that I'm trying to do, trying to do stuff. Like I'm trying to make plays, so to say, and I kind of fail a lot of times. But there we go. So right now you have a choice. You can go lethal decoy and double fake to get a lot of damage, or you can go advanced cloak. I would go probably spell shield. I would go probably go spell shield and the crippling shot. To have a little bit more survivability. Ah, uh, not enough to kill him. Sadly. Sadly, not quite enough. 
So yeah, we will have our spell shield and crippling shot to counter their Nova. And hopefully that will be enough to do stuff. What's happening here? Can we can we find an engage? Okay. Let's see, maybe we can catch somebody off. No, we couldn't. We caught some Bane links and they just stopped everything. Rainer is all the way up there. Let the curse end until someone wins my favor once more. Let's see if we can help Asmodan <laughs> just a bit. I'll make it happen. Okay, so we kind of need to regroup at this point. We have the experience lead and if we get a good engagement on them, we will win. But uh, we have yet, uh, and they see you, Stroll. I don't know what you are trying to do there, but they can see you. Now we have our crippling, yeah, crippling shot, like which means that we can kill somebody instantly if they are below half health at this point. Later in the game, we'll be kill. We will be able to kill anybody instantly, like instantly, instantly. So there we go, one down. That's that's what you want to be doing as Noah, just picking people off, reducing the their numbers all the time. And that's what you're extremely good at. Just making that 5v5, 5v4 and suddenly you have a huge advantage. Yep, that's that's also true. They were able to uh, constantly shut me down because I played a little bit too aggressively and uh, their Nova has only one death and uh, lots of stacks. Lots of stacks. Luckily we have our spell shield, so, so we should be able to win the trade against Nova because she went lethal decoy and she doesn't have the spell shield advantage. So if she even if she catches us off... <laughs> With the first hit, we will be able to win the fight. There we go, Nova down. Whoa, how did he find me? Oh, that was good job by him. That was good job by Gasol blindly sniping and uh, catching me off. There we go, the Gara dead. And good job by Esmadan killing uh, Gasol. That was that was the fight we needed. We just won. Uh, we could have just won the game just of that. Uh, you can tank bosses with your lethal decoy because they prioritize the target which is closest to them and you can just put uh, your clone closest to them and they will target it. <laughs> so that's that's a good thing to do, it helps a lot, uh, especially in Towers of Doom where a boss uh, does a lot of damage, uh, stuff like this, clones, maybe summons, help really great against him. Because otherwise your team is left very vulnerable. 
So instead of fighting this boss, I will be actually scouting and looking for their Nova. And uh, okay, she has double decoy. That's good to know. So she went for that build, uh, the one I was talking about earlier. You have your decoys dealing damage for you, and it's great at assassinating one target. But I feel like this build does a bit more damage, just overall. So it's also really great. Uh, if they didn't have Nova or some spellcasters like Jaina, Kaltas, I would be picking uh, Advanced Cloaking instead, and this would allow you to restealth and heal. Also, you would be as fast as mounted, which would also help greatly. Let's put our hollow decoy there just to scout. That's another use for your hollow decoys. You can scout with them, block skill shots. That's a really good ability. We'll be picking rewind. Rewind would allow us to kill anybody. We can probably even kill Artanis uh, just uh, solo using rewind. You put the vulnerability and then un unload your combo and then you rewind and do it once again and it's just a lot of damage. Almost instant damage. Which is great. So I'm just looking around just to see if there Nova tries to flank us or anything. And if she does we can kill her. Probably if we don't miss anything. Uh, but also she has this hollow decoy build, so we shouldn't really pursue that idea, because uh, she will have four decoys at a time. And this means that hitting her with our skill shot snipe will be not easy. So we should be careful about that. I'll make it happen. Our team looks for an engage or maybe some ambush. Uh, doesn't we don't seem to find it yet? But we keep uh, them at bay, like uh, they they can't really do much because everything is pushed, so they can only defend. But at the same time, by doing this, they get a lot of experience because we have level lead by sieging them like this uh, they will eventually catch up in experience there we go killed their nova oh good job by gaslo really good job by gaslo now we have the lead we can push keeps we can do everything we want Gaslow, please. Let's re recloak and... Uh, Rainer, can, can you go back, Rainer? No? Well, we dealt some damage to our keeps. Also, Nova is pretty good at destroying keeps, or at least... Uh, at uh, doing burst damage to them. I was almost there, almost there in time, but not quite. Let's see if we can harass this fort, this keep I should say. Now let's go back, cause uh, they have three people up and we are all alone here. Let's just go back and regroup. We have 12 stacks of gathering power, that's 24% more damage, which means this thing does uh, 100... 1400 damage approximately, and that's great. That's half of our health pool. So we can do quite a bit of damage. And uh, combining with vulnerability, it does even more damage than that. So that's great. It was very bad that we lost our Tannis. This means that we are one body down and they can probably... Uh, if they get a very good engage and kill us all, 
they could probably push through here uh, and get our core at least to 75% health. Maybe, maybe not kill it, right? Maybe not win the game, but uh, definitely get closer to winning the game. Seems like I attacked... Uh... I mean, it was a 4v5 and uh, we didn't have a good position ourselves. So we were pretty useless in all of that fight. I can't really engage that, I'm sorry. They won't have any tribute anytime soon, they only have one out of three. Which is just amazing for us. Not really great for them though. Let's just keep attacking this boss. You don't do a lot of damage, but you do quite some damage, so... Every bit helps, you know? Even if you're a healer, you should be attacking the boss. Yeah, they are probably doing their boss. Which they are not, and that's super weird, because they could have got it almost uncontested for some reason they decided not to and uh, that's good for us i guess we can ambush them let's scout a bit because we can scout but we should also be really careful because we are still visible i can help no i can't well they will get the second tribute but we will get the boss and that's that's better for us than for them. One tribute wouldn't do much, but with the boss we can potentially win this right now. So I see Nova right there. Oh, okay. So Zagara, Zagara blinked because she saw us. That's cute. We have 14 stacks which we should be really careful about, but at the same time we have a lot of damage, so we should use it. Oh my god, not quite enough to kill Nova. Oh, good job by Artani sniping her down. Yeah, I tried to kill her, but as I said, we sh that's, that's not something we should be pursuing because she has her clones and they were able to block all of my snipes. But we won the game of that, so that's it. That's some Nova gameplay for you. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did and of course subscribe for more. See you next time.